All right, good afternoon, folks. Uh, so what I wanted to do here, it is Sunday, January 3rd. Um, hopefully, hopefully everyone have, is having a great start of the new year. Um, but I want to go over my watch list real quick. So what I have on watch is Snow. They have a lockup that is uh, scheduled for or to end on January 7th, this Thursday. Um, and right now it's sitting in, in to support... Um, and the other one I'm looking at is Amazon. It finally woke up just a tad last week, um, prior to the end of the week. Um, but it's but it's setting up real nice. So I'll go over Amazon, and then lastly, our one and only Apple Pie. Um, so right now, Apple it looks to be setting up a an additional one two um, after already getting our one two from our way four uh, or after completing our way four correction. So. First up, let's talk about Snow. I've got two accounts here. It's, it's, it's as everyone knows, a new IPO. Um, this one's a bit challenging because either we, A, have already corrected, as you see here on the left, and we've got a 1-2 setup that's currently in, or on the right side is we're still in a much bigger correction. So let's go to the left. Um, so this is the one that I've been counting, um, and then until recently this weekend, I, I, I'm thinking to myself that there could be a much bigger correction here. Uh, but so what we have here is an, a WXY correction here, and then an impulse will move up for a wave one, and then ABC down for a wave two. And right now, we are sitting in some, some pretty strong support. Um, I've got support here on the 618.5 here. Uh, we just broke the 1618 support level here, so my next, where I'm looking at next is here, um, in these two le these fib levels here, so 273.65 and 284.02. Now, we might sell off a little bit more, okay? Um, notice we've got a little trend line here, and this is this trend line is actually in my in my other chart that I'll I'll go over. So we've got a trend line there, and we have a trend line here, so. We could be still correcting here, um, so we we may get a little lower to the 764 level, and that price point is going to be 262.80. Um, now this pink line represents very very strong support. Okay, um, I drew it by taking my uh, by number one turning on the volume and I think I've got the volume here. Uh, I do not have the volume. Let me add it real quick. Is that volume? Um, so I'm pull up the six hour chart. This is where it we where Snow IPO'd. Nice big green candle, and I placed my horizontal pink bar underneath the open. Okay. Um, and you'll notice how we're kind of reacting to that level. So we dropped, came as resistance, dropped again. Got rejected again, came drop, came back down, bust through it. We bounced, came dropped a little lower, and then we kind of went sideways near that level, then finally broke, broke out, and then bounced. And but then now we came right back under it, and then this this trend line here we broke on November seventeenth. And if not if I'm not mistaken, no, that wasn't it. Okay. Um, so we broke out and then stayed well above it. Okay, so so notice that that pink line there. The other thing I want to also point out here is my fib circles. So I basically took low into the high for snow, okay, and got my fib circles. And snow ended up rejecting at the 1.382 fib circle, came down, we broke through it, and got rejected again around that level, okay. Now we're coming into the 1618, 1764 range of the FIB circles. So what I want to point out here is if we do break below this 0.5, my next support is the 764, so 262.80. But notice how we've got some confluence here. So here's my 764 line, and here is the 1764 FIB circle. So there's a good chance that if we do get lower, we're going to bounce here. So we'll bounce on this fib circle and we'll finally break through this pink fib circle, which is actually my 2.0. Okay, 
and then we'll head higher. Okay, so that's one count. The other one that um, I've got going is the much bigger correction. Okay, so this is an ABC flat. That's my W, ABC up. That's my X. Okay, and then now we're starting to complete an ABCDE correction down for a Y. So this is a much larger correction. And then once this completes, then we'll explode up. Okay, and that's when we look for the one, two set up and go higher. Okay, um, so right here from the high, I've got A, B. We're coming down in a C, and I can see snow hitting this support. So pay attention to my pink, my purple box here. Oh. Okay, that's where I got major support. And look how we're getting close to this trend line. Number one, number two. We're still in the green fib circles, okay, right here. Um, and then number three, uh, what else we got? Oh, this red trend line right here. Okay, so that's this trend line. All right, so lots, there's a higher probability that we'll bounce here on C. So we'll come down, sell off C, bounce, get to D, and then we'll consolidate further for an E wave. And if we do get lower, I can see us getting closer to this 2.0 pink fib. Okay, that's what that's it. That's what this is. This fib circle. I can see E bouncing in this area. And this remember this pink line from earlier when we IPO'd. Lot of support here. Okay, that's a very nice support level. So it's so there's a good chance that E may get down here and bounce here. So that's this is going to be the Y. And then once this bigger correction is complete then we go much higher okay so the biggest takeaway here is that we all can agree on we're in support okay yes we could sell off a little bit more um so here's my thinking and i'm kind of liking this now let's see So this is I'm liking this count even better here. I've got a drop into C this week. Then we go up in D, and then come Thursday, sell off when the lockup ends, and then we go higher. Then we'll have some major buying here, and then we'll go higher. So I'm kind of favoring this bigger correction here. Um, so this X Y C much, sorry, this W X Y bigger pattern here. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of favoring this one. All right, let's go to Amazon. Sorry, I had to turn off my headphones. So if you heard uh, some uh, background noise, I apologize. All right, so Amazon here. Nice A, B, C, D, E correction here. So that's done, and we finally broke out. Okay. Um so I've got an intermediate count here, one, two, set up, and then uh, we finally we got, now we're setting up for another one, two, and as uh, I think it was, what did we, Thursday, Thursday, um, Amazon woke up, so we got a nice green candle here, so we just, we kind of were consolidating and just selling off very slowly up until Thursday, we finally kind of you know, reverse or starting to reverse. So definitely in some micro support here, I really need Amazon to bounce for this count to take shape. So if we can bounce here on Amazon this week, uh, my target is this wave three, this, this, uh, this micro here, micro count wave three of three. So we're in an intermediate wave three here and we're in a micro count wave three here. Okay. So through we're, we're now targeting wave three of intermediate wave three. Um, well, the reason why I like this count is you'll notice this green fib circle. This is the 2.618. So if we definitely bounce here, there's that's some, that's some nice confluence there for wave three on that fib circle. So Amazon is look looks like it wants to set up to just explode impulsively and just go go higher. So we, we there's a good chance we might get a nice some nice gap ups just like we see here which this gap up took two days and gapped up 14 percent 
okay, or even something like this recently, and one day it gapped up almost 6%. So there's a good chance that we could be gapping up here fairly soon to capture this wave 3 of 3 on this 2.0, or I'm sorry, this uh, 2. Point, is it 2.618? I believe it is. Let me double check. Let me get back into my chart. Oh my gosh, get off my chart already. Jesus. Uh, let's do a quick on that. Uh, 2.618, yeah. So we'll explode impulsively, gapping up, and then we'll hit target that 2.618. So next one is one and only Apple Pie. Uh, so Apple, I, I got to stop saying Apple Pie because I keep saying Apple Pie now when I refer to Apple. Um, let's go to the six hour chart. All right, so Apple finished this wave three and then now we finished off this correction, this A, B, C, D, E with wave four ending in, on November 24th. Um, and then we had now had an impulsive move up ABC down for wave two. So I've got an intermediate account here um, with three ending in the 152, 155 range, um, which is my, we're getting close. I have a theme of feeling we're going to get an extended wave three at the 2618 level. So that's not going to surprise me. But either way, we're still, we're in a cycle three and we're, we're finishing off this, uh, this, this, the wave three here before we pull back. Um, so I've got my intermediate one, two pullback, and then I've got another one, two. So it looks like what happened with Apple here, we've got this leading diagonal and then we finally broke, broke out of this triangle. So this, this, uh, this sell off here, what this is, this is our wave two. Um, so if we reduce the time frame so we can see a little bit more candles so you can get a better idea of the structure. Um, I have a one, two, three, four, five wave down or two. All right. Well, I mean. Let's see here. Let me grab my ABC. So A, B, C for wave two. Okay, so ended up wicking the 382 at 131.81. Um, so what we need to do here with Apple is we really need to start reversing and break through this resistance level I have here. Um, if we can break through this resistance, that'll confirm that we're uh, going up and that this could, could potentially be the bottom. Uh, but most importantly, we really need to go up in a third wave past this wave one, okay? If we end up going up and then breaking this wave two, the beginning of this wave two, then that means uh, we're still in a correction. Um, and we could see 0 0.5, 0 0.618 at the 129.66 and 127.50 level. I don't want to because I'm in it, but we need the structure to tell us that. So I'm looking for, again a move higher through this resistance and this resistance price level is 133.37 and 133.26 if we can break through that there's a very good chance that this is the bottom where we're going higher but again this is just the one two we need to go past or break through the, the wave one to confirm that we are in wave three okay um, so that's for Apple so that's it that's my watch list I've got again snow Amazon Apple, do not lose sight of snow because for those of you that were in my stream and I've talked about this, um, the the volatility on snow on these two green candles was just ridiculous. Um, this was the earnings. It sold off, uh, which means people got IV crushed when they were going short or even they were going long. And at the at the open, calls were very cheap. They were they were on they, they were up for discount. I mean. And then I saw a same week expiration uh, call option that we were eyeballing, and but I missed it, um, unfortunately. But I think it was going for like around nine, nine, seven or nine cents. And then that Friday, that same week expiration went. They got as high as fifty five dollars. I mean, it was just insane. Um, so I just and then look what we're doing here. We're now consolidating, breaking down. Um, so I'm I'm telling you, once this is done. Snow is going to do what it do, usually does here. It's just going to explode impulsively. Okay, so just keep this is definitely on my high alert. Uh, it was definitely on high alert for me. Um, so, hope you guys enjoy that. Again, watch this for the week. Snow, Apple, Amazon. I will see you guys tomorrow.